I think it's a moment in personality more than anything else. I do not think it's changed forever. But I also think that we're never going back to what we had, where you have these political consultants homogenizing and measuring everybody's words, and they're telling them, well, you can't say this and you can't say that. I think the American people are tired of all of that sort of spin. I think they're going to want more authenticity, more directness from their candidates. Uh, but I don't think you're ever going to get a, be a beast like Donald Trump. And I'm saying beast mode in the most complimentary way. The guy's just steamrolling people. Also, if you're going to play on his playing field, he's going to demolish you. you know, he'll get you taking DNA tests on yourself. He'll, he'll get you self-emulating. And whoever runs against him is going to have an internationally recognized nickname for the rest of their lives. Right. Okay, that's just who he is. Anthony, let me just ask you, from the position of running money on this, what, what do you do at this point? If you're taking a step back and, and calmly, coolly, collected yeah. look at all of this, what, what are you doing? With so, your I mean, the, ra the rates are going up. They're probably not going to go up as fast as we thought six months ago because a lot of the interest rate sensitive areas of the economy are slowing down a touch. Right. And so the Fed is going to way more emphasize data dependency than they are just rate hikes. Uh, and so uh, I think once they start graduating to that sort of rhetoric, the market will rally again. I think the bull thesis is very much still intact. Um, but I am worried about it. And so if you look at Skybridge's portfolio, about 45 percent of our portfolio is in adjustable security. So hmm. as rates are going up, we're clicking off incremental cash flow and we're benefiting from that positive. Carry. Philosophically, does it bother you that the president's been as vocal as he has about the Fed? and what that may or may not do to at least the perception of independence so, and the optics around that? Yeah, no, because again, it's personality driven by him. If it was somebody else, I would say yes, but I mean, this is a guy that's tweeting about pitching changes in game four of the World Series. This is a guy that's going to share his opinion. This is a guy that I'm on Bill Maher, and the very next day, the White House operator is calling and the, and the media coach in chief is critiquing my performance on Bill Maher. OK, so that's who he is. Um, I think he's leaving the Fed alone as it relates to its independence. But he sees himself as a pundit as much as he sees himself as anything else in the game. And so he's going to say what he what he what he wants to say, whether people like it or not. And I don't think it's going to have a long term effect on how the Fed is managed, by the way. So how